Hey guys, Herman here again from Visa Solutions. What do you think these devices do? I'm here in the city center of Berlin. I'm asking people what do they think. Let's check it out. Computer. Some electrical stuff. A meter. This is an indicator for anything. It's like like a focus, to, like a lens. This should be an alarm or a timer. Is a clock for uh, for cars? It's supposed to measure something. Okay, that's a good guess. Yes, a meter of what? Maybe it's counting energy. The heart. The electricity in the house. Light. I don't know anything in the house. <laughs> or a wash machine. The uh, liquids. Uh, no idea. Uh, I don't know exactly. Okay, so I can help can you. Can we know? Yeah. Well, actually, this is a temperature sensor. It's to measure the temperature in processes. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay? Nice. Yeah. So, washing machine <laughs> was a no, good no, one. <laughs> okay. So, what we learned these are temperature transmitters that transform the electrical signal coming from the temperature sensor into a standard temperature measurement. Temperature transmitters come in different configurations. There are hundreds of applications and thousands of instruments used every day. Let me know in the comments below which application you want to learn next. Here's a clip of a furnace that goes at 900 degrees Celsius. How do they measure the temperature inside the furnace? There are different technologies for high temperature measurement. The most common whatsoever is steel thermocouples. For high temperatures, special ceramic sheets are used to protect the thermocouple from the aggressive environment of the furnace. Ashes, dust, high temperatures are able to damage the thermocouple. That is why materials like silicon carbide, silicon nitride and alumina are used to protect the sensors. High temperature sensors are produced with platinum alloys. Platinum is one of the most precious metals in the world. That is why it's so important to protect high temperature thermocouples from the aggressive medium of the furnace using ceramic materials. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn more about press automation or instrumentation, make sure to visit our website. Follow me on all social media and see you next time.